Hey, good morning. So today we are going to talk about a very, very important topic, which is essentially why mind training is very important. Now we have heard the saying that hey, the mind can mind. be man's best friend or the mind can be man's so worst enemy. Today, We've already heard we this, are... right? However, has anybody taught us on how to use the mind? If you remember school days, you were taught about the brain. <clears throat> you know, we were taught about the different parts of the brain, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, the medulla oblongata, you know, the hippo, hippocampus, There's so many different areas in the brain, <clears throat> which we understood, we understood about the gray matter, but nobody taught us about the mind. And if the mind is not understood properly, it can actually become our worst enemy. Now, let me explain to you the two aspects of the mind. I feel there are two important things that we need to understand about the mind. And if we understand this, we can literally create the life of our dreams. So let me just pull up the whiteboard to explain this. So let's say this is the human mind. <clears throat> okay. So what are the two aspects of the human mind? One is that we all know that the human mind is extremely powerful. There is a beautiful quotation by Napoleon Hill, which says, whatever the human mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. And that is absolutely true because there are millions of examples where people have thought about some of the wildest things and they've been able to accomplish, especially all the inventions. You know, there was no electric bulb, but Edison thought that I will create an electric bulb and he was able to do it. Until 1954, there was not a single person who was able to run one mile within four minutes. It was considered to be, you know, physiologically impossible, medically impossible for a person to run one mile within four minutes. But then there came along a person by the name of Roger Bannister. He said, no, I will do it. And he conceived the idea. He believed in his idea and he made it happen, which means the mind has unlimited potential. So the first aspect of understanding the human mind is understanding our true potential. Just give me one moment. Understanding the potential of the mind and how to unleash this power. See, just knowing that the mind has unlimited power doesn't help us, right? What we need to understand is how do you unleash this power to achieve your goals, to solve problems. So mind ki jo, you know, there are two important powers of the mind, the creativity and intuitivity. If you're able to understand both these powers, if you're able to unleash the creativity of the mind, you can literally solve any problem. You can achieve any goal because the mind is infinitely creative. But how do you unleash this creativity? If you want to create tons and tons of money, it requires creativity. You need ideas, you need solutions, you need to come up with ways of doing it. But it's kaise karna? How do you do it? Nobody has taught us this. Intuitivity means getting answers from within. Are you on the right track? Are you doing the right thing? Are you doing the wrong thing? But how do you listen to your inner voice? Today, people are so busy, so engaged in the external world that they don't even have time to listen to their inner voice. And the inner voice is the place where you can all get almost all answers. So the first aspect of the mind is understanding its potential and learning how to unleash the power to achieve your goals, solve problems, all of that. The second aspect of the mind is learning how to control the mind. I would call it mind control. How to control your mind. Now, we all have emotions and some of the, you know, the most debilitating emotions are anger, fear, worry, tension, stress, all of these things, you know, they act like a virus for the mind and we are not able to operate at our peak potential. Like imagine a supercomputer is invest, infested with virus. Will it be able to operate? No. 
because the virus is going to pull down its performance it's going to make it slow at some point it's going to hang and at some point it's going to crash so for the supercomputer to work at its peak potential there should be no virus the same thing applies to human beings if there is negativity in the mind the human being cannot operate at his peak his or her peak potential imagine if you're angry can you do your work properly if you're sad or upset or under you know stress can you do your work at your peak potential no so the second and the most important aspect of the mind is learning how to keep your mind calm and peaceful in any situation of life see when everything is good in life to control your mind is no big deal anybody can do that when when things are not right when things are not the way you want it at that time to control the mind i believe is known as mastering your mind and keeping your mind calm and peaceful in every situation of your life now there are techniques to do that and if you learn those techniques you can literally control your emotions you can keep your mind calm and peaceful and when your mind is calm and peaceful you are able to actually unleash your creativity your creative forces the creative forces of your mind cannot work unless the mind is calm and peaceful so how do you control your mind in difficult situations see life is going to present us with all kinds of problems and situations and challenges तो वो डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन में भी अपने माइंड को कैसे संभाल कर रखना हाउ डू यू कीप योर माइंड काम एंड पीसफुल वेल दीज आर द टू एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच आई टीच आई बीन टीचिंग दिस फॉर मोर देन 10 इयर्स नाउ एंड वी हैव आवर प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड द माइंड पावर अनलिमिटेड वर्कशॉप व्हिच इज एक्चुअली आवर फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम वेयर वी टीच यू हाउ यू कैन अनलीश द पावर ऑफ योर माइंड एंड टू इज हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल योर माइंड इन एनी सिचुएशन ऑफ लाइफ चाहे कितना भी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन क्यों ना आ जाए आप अपने माइंड को अच्छे ढंग से रख सकते हो एंड यू विल आल्सो लर्न टेक्निक्स टू अनलीश द पावर ऑफ योर माइंड नाउ वी कीप डूइंग दिस प्रोग्राम्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस सो बी ऑन द लुकआउट वी हैव वेबिनार्स हैपनिंग वेयर वी इंट्रोड्यूस द टॉपिक द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द माइंड एंड देन वी हैव वर्कशॉप्स व्हिच आर टू डे वर्कशॉप्स वेयर वी टीच यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप ऑन हाउ टू एक्चुअली अनलीश द पावर एंड कंट्रोल योर माइंड इन एनी सिचुएशन more than 150000 people have attended this program over the last 10 years and they have benefited immensely people have bought their dream homes their dream cars got their dream jobs you know found their life partners they've been able to come out of debt situations and create prosperity in life broken relationships have healed and become better all this is possible when you learn how to use your mind effectively so i'd invite you all to come and explore your mind learning how to use your mind effectively so that you can literally create the life of your dreams everybody deserves to live a good life the only reason why people are not able to create it is because they have not understood their inner powers you may be a good engineer you may go be a good doctor you may be skilled and talented in dancing singing and all of that but if you have not learned how to use your mind creating success is very very difficult okay so my name is sunil parekh once again and i'd like to invite you to one of these one of my programs and help you and we are there to help you to actually accomplish all your goals and achieve all your dreams and live a fantastic happy healthy peaceful life wish you all the best god bless you and see you soon bye bye